After graduating high school, I spent a year in and out of jobs. My brother's death hit the family hard, and I just couldn't bring myself to study anything. My parents wanted me to be an accountant in a steady job, they said, but I couldn't. stay in the town I grew up in. have enough 
money to stay at fancy hotels or to have a meal three times a day, but I was fortunate that I could take the time off. Instead, I stayed in hostels and I had to rely on the generosity of others. My father told me this would build character. My trip led me to an area of gorgeous lakes and snowy mountains. I had heard there was a small town at the top of the mountains. It was a secluded paradise for the adventurous types, and I was determined to find it.
While staring off at the sights, I lost my footing on the side of a wooden walkway. At first I managed to gather myself, but one of the boards snapped in half and I fell down.
After a couple years of wanderlust, Alex and I decided to finally settle down. We still wanted to keep exploring the world, but it was also time to set down some roots. It wasn't that we were just getting older, but rather that we both wanted more stability, and we wanted to start a family. Have a couple kids, a suburban house, attend school meetings, have a white kid with friends, a dog, that sort of thing. We used all the money we had and bought a little place in a seaside village that we both loved. It was far away from the hustle and bustle of any big cities, but close enough for any services or groceries we might need. That village was kind of a place where everyone knew each other's name. We made a lot of friends. It was paradise. I don't remember any particular people. Try as I might, everyone is just a shapeless block. Pregnant. I knew my first son, Sam Jr. After, after someone in my life, I think they were important. They must have been. But I can't quite remember why right now. And then after Sam Jr., we had a baby girl. We named this one Sam.
we named our second child Gabriella. Life was good. Life was perfect. Since I'd known her, Alex wanted to write. After having the kids, she didn't want to go back to her job right away and decided to finally pen a novel. She wrote several. Alex wrote down all of our journeys together and turned them into children's books. She had to embellish her a few parts. We didn't meet any dragons or sentient flies in real life. Our kids loved them. I was glad they had a momentum from their parents. It wasn't hard for Alex to find a publisher, and the books were a success. She decided not to return to her regular job. I finally studied finance, which is what my parents wanted. It wasn't at all glamorous or that fun, but it paid the bills. As long as our little family didn't need to worry about money, it was worth the sacrifice. 